Hey everyone, my name's Colin from GitHub's Code Search team, and I'm super excited to announce the launch of our new Code Search technology preview. What I'm most excited about is how fast our search engine is using a regular expression. I'll search git.star push. In just a few hundred milliseconds, we found tons of results. Now that's only possible because we've built completely from scratch a new code search engine in Rust, which is oriented towards searching code and being ridiculously fast. If you're a software developer like me, then every day you're bombarded with questions. Questions like, what's the name of that script again? How does service A talk to service B? Or I wonder where this error message is coming from. Answering questions like that is at the heart of what it means to be a software developer. But it's not always easy to find the answers. Let's face it, a lot of times the answers are not out there on the internet or in documentation. The best place to find the answers is buried deep inside of the code. Let me show you how it works. I'm here at cs.github.com, which is where you can find our new search experience. And right off the bat, you can see some of the kinds of queries we support. For example, you can use the org qualifier to narrow down to one organization or the language qualifier to search for just one language. We also support powerful features like searching within file paths, Boolean operators, and even regular expressions. Quickly search, navigate, and understand your code, your team's code, your company's code, and the open source code you depend on. It's cool to search the world's code, but probably what's more useful is searching code relevant to you. And that's why we created this scope dropdown. If I click on this scope dropdown, I can choose to search code within just my organization or code that I personally own, or I can narrow down to a specific repository. But the most powerful feature is to create a custom scope that lets me search a set of repositories that are relevant to me. I've already done this for my team, which is called the Blackbird team. So I'm gonna narrow down to code relevant to my team. And now let's do a search. I'll just start by typing part of a file name, for example, .sql, and immediately find a bunch of SQL files as suggestions. Or I could type part of a symbol that I remember and immediately see a bunch of symbol suggestions. Let's try jumping straight to the definition of this class. And now you can see the second really powerful feature of the new code search experience, code navigation. So here we're in the code viewer and you can see we have a bunch of extra symbol information which is helping us quickly whip around our code base and navigate. For example, let's look at this function, ink contents loaded. I can, in a single click, search for where this function's being used. Here's the definition, and here's where it's being called. Let's jump and see more. And now we can see it's being called within this other function called lowercase content within a struct called lazy content. I hope you can see how the tight integration between search and code navigation allows us to not only get to the code we need to, but also follow the path to find exactly how the code works. Our code navigation is actually even better. We can also, for example, jump on one of these imports and jump straight to the definition, even if it's in another file. And in some languages, we even support jump to definition across repositories, which is super powerful. Okay, that was a great example of searching and code navigation, but let me leave you with one last example of something I used this code search for recently. At GitHub, we usually use the twerp RPC framework, and someone on my team wrote a script to call a twerp RPC endpoint using a shell script. So I don't remember which repository that was in or the name of the script, but let's see if we can find it. I'll narrow down to my team's scope, and I'll search language, shell, and twerp. Now you can see we got tons of results here, but the first result is exactly the script I was looking for. And that's no coincidence. We use powerful ranking heuristics to bring the most relevant results straight to the top, so you never have to go to page two. Let's click in and take a look at the script. So here we get the usage statement and we can see how the script is functioning. But now let's try to see where this script is actually being used in the rest of the code base. I'll highlight the name of the script and search for that inside this repo. And here you can see where it's being used in another part of the repo. So I hope you can see from this example how we went from not knowing the name of the script or which repository it was in to not only finding it, but seeing how it was used in the rest of the repository. 
I'm super excited for you to try the new code search technology preview, and I hope you'll share your feedback with us.